What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is like 30 degrees outside, but I'm still excited because we're going to be installing my Brembo kit on my E46 M3. But before we get started on that, I just want to explain to you guys how happy and how mind blown I am that I woke up this morning to 180 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That is an achievement. That is awesome. That makes me so happy. It motivates me to create more videos for you guys. Now, I have something in store. I'm trying to buy another car, which it is a BMW. I'm trying to source some things out. Fingers crossed. Once I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna be getting that specific car, I'll let you guys know. I'll introduce it to the channel and we'll start building that too. And a couple more cars I have, I have in mind to buy. So I got everything laid out. I'm ready to start this job. My fingers are frozen. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna be replacing all this for all this. So it's windy, it's cold. I don't have a half inch wrench or uh, ratchet, so now I gotta go to the store and pick one up. All right, so let's see, I gotta look for flex it now. Half inch, you go half inch. 20 bucks, Jesus Christ. I guess this one will do. All right. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's try this again. All right, remove these bolts, pry it off. So let me put the camera down. All right, so I got the line out. So apparently, this is the piece that I'm gonna have to shave down a bit in order to fit the bracket. I'm gonna get the wire brush, I'm gonna clean all this up too. All right, so it's bolted up, it's starting to look good. I'm just gonna throw the pads in, take these out, spin it, see if anything is grinding. I'm very happy with how it looks. All right, so I was able to install the pin. It was a little difficult because since it's powder coated, it's a little thicker in there, so I had to ram that rod in there. You know what I mean? So yeah, I got this on. Now I just gotta install the brake lines and then I gotta do the other side and then we'll go from there. All right, so here's where I'm leaving off for today. I'm gonna continue the other side tomorrow. Having a little problem here though. I might need to adjust it cause it spins freely then it catches. It's uh, currently 21 degrees outside. I am freezing, I'm done for the day. So I'm gonna pack up all the stuff, go inside. And we'll continue this tomorrow. Oh. So guys, I messed up. So apparently I missed a huge step in the process of installing these 996 calipers on my E46 M3. I'm supposed to grind off 5.5 millimeters off of these mounting points so that it sits more flush with the rotor and the rotor has clearance to spin freely. I completely missed that step so now I'm gonna have to take all this off, take this to the machine shop to get professionally machined down so that we could revisit this, install it, and have it fit properly on my car. So stay tuned. So on a brighter note, package arrived from Motorin Motorworks. Let's open it up, see what's inside. Man, you can never get enough carbon fiber on your car. So that's the one piece CSL lip. Right now I have the CSL splitters. Once again, huge shout out to Brian at Motor and Motorworks for sending out the lip. We'll have this installed right before we wrap the car. All right guys, so unfortunately that's it for this video. I'm gonna have to take the calipers off the car, send them to the machine shop so that I can get that done, and then we'll reinstall them on the car once it's ready. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below too if you think you know what color I'm going to be wrapping my car. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in the next video.